What up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie. Is it worth it? Is it what worth up? it? What up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie. Is it worth it? What up, what up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie. Hey, is it worth it? Hey, what up, what up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie. Hey, is it worth it? What up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie. And today, I'm reviewing Chaos Crew Shreds Thermogenic Fat Burner. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out every day for you. So click subscribe and let's get into this, homies. Hope you're feeling blessed, man. It's Fat Burner Friday. Generally, my routine has been I've been pumping iron Monday through Thursday. I take a break Friday. I'll do the cardio in the morning that day uh, just to kind of give my body a rest and I gear up for high stim Saturday, homies. All right, man. For real, though, I got some exciting stuff coming for the, uh, the YouTube channel, man. I'm not going to tell you yet, man, but it's exciting for me. Might not be exciting for you, but so, something big is brewing, homies. Some, two big things. Three big things. Three huge things for my channel, man. Three huge things. Anyway, man, so if you like what I have to say about this hitter, you get it from suckkings.com, discount code GGH15. This is the first review I've done of Chaos Crew. I don't know them. They don't know GGH. I ain't here shining the crew schlong. Uh, they're from out of the country, I believe. Let's see. Yes, they are. They're from Ireland, looks like. I love the Irish. We love, love the, nothing against the Irish, homie. If I say this is trash, it's nothing against you. All right, no, seriously, though, I also have their pills, uh, fat burner pills, and I have a pre-workout by them. Um, solid labels on all of them, actually. This is an interesting label. You also hit me in the email, garagegymhomie at gmail.com. I'm offering monthly coaching or one-time meal plans, workout plans, supplement regimens. Uh, super cheap, man. I'm also selling a bunch of, again, super cheap uh, supplements. Uh, I got a whole list. If you want the list of supplements, I'm selling fat burners, pre-workouts, nootropics. If you're in the USA, I'll ship it to you. Uh, and... Oh, wait, let me turn this heat down here. It's going to get loud, dog. It's going to get loud. Hold on, homie. Sorry about that, man. Sorry about that. But, you know, I don't do many, many edits here. You know, I just kind of roll with the punches. All right, man. So this is what I'm going to say. Uh, this is the Fat Burner Chaos Crew. We're going to talk about the label. Here we go. Servings per container, 40. 40, homie, 40. Uh, they're giving us this composition information. Serving size 6.3 grams. One scoop was teetering. One level scoop, just so you know, was teetering on six to seven. So really, one level scoop is perfect, man. 6.3 grams, you get seven grams. You go a little over. Ooh, we're freaking crazy. Oh my God. Okay. So seven gram scoop. Not anything loaded, man. I mean, this is a. This is a. Listen to this formula, man. Taurine, 1,500 milligram. I got confused with the label here. Choline bitartrate, one gram. Lotus extract, 300 milligrams. Rose hips extract, 250 milligrams. Caffeine, I know what that is. That's a stimulant, homies. That's going to stimulate you. 250 milligrams. That's a nice amount, bro, for a fat burner. I like that. Fat burners are, to me, more like daily than pre-workouts. So pre -work, I know I review a lot of them, but in, in real life actuality, I think fat burners to me have always been used a lot more than pre-workouts. Cause I, I used to do, uh, I switched it up. I've been pumping iron in the morning, but I was doing morning fast to cardio and then lifting weights at night non-stim and just saving the pre-workouts for the weekend. So I'm gonna go back to that soon actually. I'm probably like 15, uh, supplements away from being caught up and I think I'm going to switch my regimen up. I like that. Organic apple cider vinegar powder, 250 milligrams and benefits to that. Uh, obviously a uh, genius. Uh, gar <laughs> these all have benefits. I know. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what they are. I'm going to keep it a secret. It's not because I don't know. It's because I want you to do your own research. 
GGH, I can, I can uh, you know, teach a man to fish and feed, or I could catch a man to fish and feed him for uh, a meal. Or I could teach a man to fish and feed him for a lifetime. So I, I'm not even gonna tell you what these ingredients are. No, I'm just kidding, it's because I don't freaking know what most of these ingredients are. English walnut tree extract leaf, 150 milligrams. That's what I believe is DMHA in its uh, more natural form. No DMHA is natural, but in its more natural form. Kapaka fruit extract, 150 milligrams. L-theanine, 70 milligram. Nice low amount. We can deal with that. Pro-GBB, 50 milligram. That's a high amount. That's a thermogenic. That'll have you sweating them little nuts off. Black pepper extract, 10 milligrams to uh, absorb all this stuff. Chromium, 250 micrograms. I like that ingredient. And selenium, 100 micrograms. So this is definitely a way different label than I'm used to seeing. I mean, they must be some Harvard professor Einstein's over there, or they just don't know what they're doing. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's one of the two, man. They're either onto some major original uh, game over there, or, or that none of this makes sense to me. And I don't really need, please, save the comments, bro. Sometimes I'll ask you what things do right now. I don't really care. It, if you enlighten me on any of these ingredients, I'm never going to remember or care. All right, man, let's get down to it. This is what I'm going to say, man. Everything in life has pros and cons. This is a great beginner slash regular use, very mild energy fat burner. That the So I, I took the fat burner, man. I came down to the dance floor, and I got on the... Uh, the Stairmaster, man. Um, about 15 minutes after ingesting it, I felt the energy come in like caffeine. And about 20 minutes after ingesting it, I felt a sense of uh, a sense of added focus, where I was like thinking for a few minutes, like, "Ooh, we, I feel that. Is that is that that DM8 that English walnut coming in? <clears throat> Excuse me, or whatever these." these ingredients are, I was like, this might be, I looked at this label and I thought to myself, this is probably going to be kind of whack, man. I, I don't know why I thought that, but I, I thought that <laughs> for some reason. And then I, I came down and I started feeling some added focus or whatever. Unfortunately, it kind of, it kind of died off quick. It didn't continue to elevate. It kind of died off quickly. The energy remained. The cardio felt good, man. The cardio felt good. Very nice thermogenic effect. Uh, this was okay, man. This was okay. This was kind of... I feel like a lot of these companies outside of the U.S., and even some of them in the U.S., I'm not saying that, but like, I was, like Naughty Boy, this one, they source their either Juglins or English Walnut from somewhere that's not... It's not that like two amino, it's not like the same thing, man. There's, it feels very like not as apparent at all. You gotta kind of search for it. Like, is this working? Is, do I feel anything outside of the caffeine? Is there added fuck? It's kind of like an uneventful source of whatever's in there. I'm not quite sure why they all source it from this kind of this kind of thing. Or maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know, man. But when you see English walnut, I'm thinking, well, 150 million. Oh, this thing's got the goods, man. I mean, this this just felt like 250 milligrams of caffeine, some nice thermogenic effect. Definitely heated up, felt good. No, uh, uh, no uncomfortable feeling with the thermogenic, and this definitely had some added focus. But not a very illicit feeling. Like there was definitely a very dialed in feeling with this. I think if you're if you're pretty new to fat burners, this would be awesome for you. I think if you're like a stim guy and you read the label and you're like, oh, English walnut, I think you're probably gonna be disappointed if you're looking for a DMHA fat burner. You might come on here and say, oh no, GGH, that English walnut is not supposed to be DMHA. I don't know. I always see English walnut and that's like DMHA. You know, maybe, maybe I'm incorrect, man. I only been to, uh, you know, one semester, uh, four different, you know, uh, 
colleges, man, adding up to two years of college. EGA has done a little studying, dog, but this is what I'm going to say, man. There was nothing negative about it. Uh, definitely nothing negative. Didn't crush my appetite. The energy lasts probably a couple of hours, uh, and then it, it dies off slowly. No cracked out, no crash, nothing. Thermogenic for 50 milligrams of pro-GBB. You're not going to be uncomfortable. You're going to sweat, though, when you do cardio. Good energy, decent, uh, good thermogenic. Good energy for 250 milligrams. Feels like that. Uh, nothing unhealthy feeling about it. Good thermogenic. And a very dialed-in feeling. Almost like it wants to be illicit, but it's just... It's just not there yet. It's just not there yet, homies. It's just teetering, trying to get there. But it is a dialed-in feeling outside of the caffeine, whatever the heck is in here. Maybe the English walnut is just doing something, man, like something's about to hit, but it never never quite does. So it was all right, man. It was okay. I didn't leave the, the experience disappointed or like, hey, uh, this was whack or anything like that. I guess um, it just felt like a solid, good beginner slash regular use uh, fat burner. It'll definitely knock the tired out of you. It'll definitely make cardio feel good and a decent thermogenic effect. That's what I got, man. Garage gym homies, always going to give it to you straight till the end of days if you like the review. So I guess I was all over the place with this review. I mean, are you leaving here knowing if it's good or bad? I don't know. It's just my experience. You kind of, you take the drink, you feel a little dialed in, uh, almost illicit, but not there. Uh, good there. How many times do I got to say it, man? Together, let's get this dang muscle. God bless all of you. I'm out.